Welcome to this video tutorial. In this particular lecture, I will show you how to create your first JavaFX application. And I will introduce to you the core JavaFX concepts and as well as to give you some JavaFX code that you can use as your template for your own experiments. Let's go ahead and create our own JavaFX application. Let's go to File and then New and then select the other option right at the bottom of the options and then under JavaFX click on the JavaFX project and then next let us name our JavaFX application as hello world JavaFX and click on finish okay so now that the JavaFX application has been created let us try to understand the basics and how the JavaFX application works okay so we have here the two files main.java and application.css for now, let's, let us open the main.java. So I'm assuming this is your first um, encounter with JavaFX or JavaFX application. So let us try to understand each of the lines here. But first, let's uh, delete all the lines that are generated. Also the import lines at the top. And also the extends keyword so we're starting from a blank slate so so that we can uh, better understand how the JavaFX application works so accordingly JavaFX application needs a primary launch class and this particular class has to extend the JavaFX application that application class which is a standard class in Java since Java version 8. So let us type in extends application. Okay. And then let us import the application class under the Java effects that application package. Okay. Now we need to implement a certain method okay all subclasses of the JavaFX application class must implement the abstract start method of the application class or be an abstract subclass of the application itself it means that we need to implement the start method so let's try to click on the add unimplemented methods okay so the start method is called when the JavaFX application is started. Now the start method takes a single parameter of type stage. It has a name of primary stage. And let's try to delete the auto-generated um, comment. So the stage is where all the visual parts of the JavaFX application are displayed. And a stage object is created for you by the JavaFX runtime. In this particular example, we'll try to set the title of our stage by using the object name, which is primary stage, that set title. And then uh, let's set it to hello world application. Right? And then next, we need to call the show method in order for us to display the stage or the window itself for JavaFX application. Primary stage that show. So this will make the stage or the window visible to the user or visible to us. Okay. So again, we set the title of our window and then we're calling the show method in order for us to be able to see the stage or the window. OK, 
Okay? Now, you can actually launch a JavaFX application without a main method. But if you want to pass command line parameters to the application, you need to add a main method. So, in general, I prefer to add a main method because it makes it more explicit. Which code launches the application? So, let's try to uh, add the main method now. So, public static or public static void main and then string the arguments and then open close curly braces and then let us use the uh, keyword application dot launch with the arguments okay so as you can see uh, as you can see the main method calls the static launch method with the command line parameters now the launch method is a static method located in the application class and this method launches the JavaFX runtime and your JavaFX application now that is really all that it takes to create a JavaFX application very simple right now let's try to run our application first thing first we need to save the changes that we made to the main that java file click on save and then we can uh, right click on the project and then run as java application okay so now we have a window that has the hello world application as the title as we set it on the main.java file okay but so far we have an empty window with no components inside it so let's try to cut or let's try to add a label to our window that says hello world so in order to add components to our java effects application we need to uh, define several objects so first is the label for our component and then new label with the string parameter that says hello world and then let's create a scene object that takes in the label as a parameter and along with other two parameters which represents the the width and the height of the window so let's import these two classes the label under this java effect scene control and the other one java effects scene or java effects that scene package and then we need to set this particular scene object into the stage so in order for us to do that we need to the the primary stage object which is the primary stage and then dot set scene and then the new scene object that we have created that contains the label and has the width of 400 and the height of 200 so save our changes and then run our application click on the run button so as you can see we have a smaller version of the window with the, the same title hello world application and the new element which is the label that has the hello world uh, text okay i think that's all for creating your first java effects application